السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویڈیوئنگ تھرو بلاگنگ تھرو فرام سیل چک اینڈ ایٹ سام فرسٹ اینڈ انفارچونیٹلی آ لاسٹ مارننگ ہیئر ان سیل چک الحمد للہ دی ایکسپیرئنس ہیئر ان سیل چک ہیز جسٹ بین فنومنو کمپیٹر استنبول اٹس اے مچ مور ریلیکس سٹی ٹاؤن much more relaxed town and alhamdulillah we've been able to locate also the local uh, Marqa's Masjid and uh, we've just prayed Fajr and mashallah listen to the to the bird song mashallah they're doing you know zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, even the animals know um, and glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's what they're doing they're doing zikr And it's the local mustard right in the main city. So it's a nice little town in terms of um, everything being quite accessible and uh, very close to together. And just so much more relaxed and uh, unchaotic like Istanbul. It's so worrying walking around in Istanbul uh, in the main streets there. Yeah, he's here. And once we walk through the main township there, and we'll be able to see how relaxed it is. Nice wide footpath, and you know, minimum traffic. So this morning, inshallah, we'll, uh, inshallah, we're on a mission towards Ephesus, and uh, we are planning to have some breakfast. Um, at the Urkmiz Hotel where we're staying and then try and head out to Ephesus early like at uh, about 8.30ish and um, get out there get in the queues, get it over and um, you know try and see what we can in the 2-3 hours and then try and get back here for Jummah because it's uh, Alhamdulillah Friday and uh, we've got to pray Jummah and then inshallah after that Uh, we've booked tickets for the Selchuk Izmir train um, at about 3.59 um, p.m. and it's about a two hour trip and um, it was uh, the tickets were about 43 lira so nice and uh, affordable compared to the airport transfer that we did coming from the Izmir airport and then inshallah um, Yeah, then we'll be on to the train from uh, Izmir to Konya. And look, uh, we've looked to have found a Borek shop. So let's have a quick whiz through and um, see what goodies we can take with us to Ephesus. Because I'm not sure what the cafe situation is like there. Um, but considering our experience at Topkapi, um, where it's hot and uh, lots of walking, we were, we were starved and uh, famished. Uh, so it'll be a good idea to take some food, inshallah. And uh, here we've got the Hafta Sunni Achik Bakery. Some goodies here. Mm, looking like some, maybe some type of uh, pastry. Gunaydin, Gunaydin. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Ooh, look at all of those uh, options. Tahini, Borek. Uh, Boyu's Sutu Borek. Everything looks to be freshly being baked. Yeah, everything's freshly being baked there. We've got some simet, we've got some uh, Kimali. I think Kimali is uh, what, like, is that the butter or, butter or honey? Oh, maybe that's some sweet. Well, we'll go inside and um, check it out, see what mm. you will have on offer, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Kefahal, how are you? Fine, Shukr alhamdulillah. 
Borek, everything ready? Yes, yes. Come on. Mashallah. Uh, we want to take some food with us to Ephesus, inshallah. Okay. So we will come back and take some Borek with us. It's okay. What is the Kemali Borek? Honey? Borek? Yes. Borek. Uh, order of Pocha. Uh, let's see if we can do some changes. Meat. Meat. Cheese. Uh, Spanish. Uh, milk. Milk? Yeah, yes. Mm. Sugar. Milk. Sugar? Milk, sugar, yes. You want to see what is Kemali? Kemali? Oh, okay. Inshallah, we come back 8 o'clock? No, not done. Check. Krima, normal Krima. Oh, Krima. Uh -huh. oh, Inshallah. Halal Krima. Halal. Oh, Mashallah, Mashallah. Let's see whether we can do a Google Translate of how much. It's probably about it. How much? Haji, Borek, ne kadar? Borek, ne kadar? Complete. 10 lira, 10 lira, 10 lira, 10 lira. Oh, maşallah. O ne kadar? Firmalı. Firmanın dönen kilosu mu? Evet. Kilo 200. 1 kilo 200 lira. Okay, 1 kilo 200. 250 gram spinach. Spinach, yes. 250 gram meat. Yes. 250 gram kemali. Yes. Yes, inşallah. Meat. Firma ne? Firma. Başka? <gülüyor> 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 <gülüyor>
and back to the hotel, get prepped up, have some breakfast, and then um, try and head out. Uh, we need to get it some water as well, because um, we run out of water pretty quickly when it's hot. Okie dokie, so follow us along. Look for some water. That's that alcohol place is open. Yeah. Otherwise, from the old supermarket. Yeah. Just the bakeries are the first things to open, eh? Mm. Yeah. Some big deal as well. Should have got some cement, maybe. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go this way and then we can come yeah. back around. Yeah. 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 And you can see the uh, Isa Bay Mosque in the uh, back in the foreground of the township. Mashallah, all this history, all this history, you know, every corner you turn, there's just so much history and uh, culture, such ancient lands with all of the empires that have. Uh, the world. World. Yeah, these lands in the world, Ottomans, Seljuks, the Romans, the Hittites before that, the Every, Greeks. Everyone's been through here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Greeks, the Romans, the Persians, the Mongols. The Mongols. Huh? Everyone came through these places to go back and forth. Europeans came from this way to go towards the subcontinent and everywhere else and the Asian empires all went from this side to from here across across to Europe. Mm. Yes. It's still a bit early. Maybe we can um, go for a walk to the left into the uh, Isa Bay Mosque and the other place that sign border or the Basilia of St. John and again these, these things are right here they're not far away they're like 200 meters 300 meters but look at this you know compared to the chaos of Istanbul Amit, at least maybe other places there are quieter We'll go for a walk up to the top there. Okay. See the man watering the garden, that's good. Keep the gardens green. Maybe the girls could have seen this as well, but oh. oh, they all seem to know each other. When it in. <laughs> well, we've got some sprinklers going on here, so you can't risk walking up this way. Well, if we're clever, maybe we could... If we're clever, maybe we could uh, avoid the wet. It, it looks like... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's good. There's a degree there that it's set to. Ooh. A little bit of Ooh. Yeah, this is a bit dangerous. Just watch that step there with the wooden planks. Well, this is a bit strange with the wooden planks. I mean, uh, especially with the Roman Roman uh, infrastructure and uh, the use of all of the brick to make pavements and stuff 
I wonder where, where this has come from. This is different to what we've seen thus far. And again, no real geographical context here, but uh, not. But this looks to be some sort of structure as well. Oh, there's a signboard on the on the right hand side as we're looking at it now. So we're on the way back, we'll head down that way. Let's see what it says. And look at that, mashallah. Maybe a bit hard for you guys to see. But there's a big fort in the background. And uh, the old guys from the mosque that we were speaking to last night, they said that there was about five mustards here from the Ottoman period. Oh yeah. And this is probably one of them. The Isa Bay Mosque. I'm not sure what this guy is up to here. Maybe we'll some views of the old Sechuk Township. And that must be the mustard that we just played at. Oh look, actually, you know, we're not that far away from this fort. We're almost at the bottom of it. We're almost at the bottom of this fort. It looked like it was far away, but uh, it's just here. National line, just a bird song here. Compared to our uh, pokikos in uh, New Zealand, we've got some parrots here and some parakeets and, and here's the uh, Isa Bay Mosque again. Uh, this looks to be a large mosque, or at least the compound is lengthy. We thought that the fort was far away because it looked like that from where we were but look at that you know just again one of those around the corner kind of things you know you've got this awesome historical structure I think the, on the other side is a citadel as well like an old church structure And look at these chickens, some desi murgi, or some free range, some free range KFC. Yeah, well that's, uh, you know, you could carry on along, but it uh, looks like this ends up at, in someone's um, backyard. <clears throat> so we won't go there. And uh, I imagine if you live here, then you've probably gone and explored this castle many times as a kid and uh, walked along all of those walls there as you do as a kid and uh, yeah Isabe Mahalesi Twenty thirteen Sokak, what does that mean in your Google Translator? Twenty thirteen Street, Sokak. It's a bit neighborhood. Oh, Mahalesi. Okay. It's amazing you bloody augmented reality and uh, AI. And look a nice terrace there. Uh, I'm guessing our um, hotel also has some terrace. We can go up to the top and see what the views are like. 
and we'll eat for breakfast. All right, guys. Well, um, we'll go and see what the sign says at the bottom and uh, we'll give you an update later on I imagine it might be something historical there was another sign that said the St. John Basilia um, could it be that that stretcher that we saw down the bottom so St. John um, oh, no that was St. Paul that came and um, preached in Ephesus and this is obviously after Nabi Isa and I think um, St. Paul is one of the ones that kind of distorted a lot of the ideas around uh, monotheism and um, I think you know the uh, the early Christians you know they they believed in the oneness of God and uh, and the idea that Nabi Isa was a prophet you know a messenger and it was only the later Christians that kind of distorted that that belief um, and then uh, you know moved on to this idea of this trilogy uh, tr trilogy or whatever they call it the triangulation of the of the oneness of God the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost and obviously that's probably due to uh, you know the influence of the pagan pagan uh, you know, environment that the Christians were around and maybe that was just a way to um, boost you know the uh, adaptability of Christianity to make it more um, of an easier transition from paganism to uh, Christianity because uh, the pagans were already used to the idea of gods um, but they believed in you know gods begetting children like Zeus and uh, Hercules and but uh, you know subhanallah in uh, surah um, which one is it? Uh, Ikhlas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, Auzu billahi minash shaitan rajeem Bismillahi rahman rahim Qulu wallahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad Oh look, there's a way there, you know, we're not going to venture in there But um you know, if that's what it is, there, again, subhanAllah, you know, just the majesty of uh, some of these structures uh, that the Ottomans built, the wealth they must have had, and uh, the resources, the, the power they must have had to be able to do this. And look, you know, and this is a problem with uh, some of our countries where uh, these sort of things don't get given their due appreciation in this one of these uh, drink bottles and uh, rubbish lying around and could that be the citadel that we were talking about and look mashallah look, uh, just a beautiful building and again the township of Selchuk and the Markaz Masjid there Yeah. 
Maybe the township need to come in just to give this place a bit of a clean. Never see. <laughs> Don't appreciate what you have until you lose it. Oh, mashallah, and look at this place. And look at the nest on top of this lamppost. The nest on top of the lamppost. Now, could that be a stork? Lamppost uh, nest because um, I've seen photos of of um, storks nesting in on top of these you know high structures and it's a big nest you know so it's not like a crow nest or a pigeon nest um, and that's where the uh, citadel was I think oh yeah here we go here's the front of it. Is the front of the uh, Isa Bay Mosque. Look at that, you know, just from far away already you can see the majesty and the the scale of it. Mary's House Hotel, Livia Garden Hotel, Ayasok Hotel, Amazon Petite Palace. Some toilets here. Oh, look, there's a mustard right here as well. You know, there's some shoes there as well. The gate seems to be closed. But Alp Aslan Jami. Let's see, mashallah, you know, just come here, have a, have a pray, and look, you know, just further there, there's another, you know, so many buildings that look again just magical <laughs> subhanallah what a beautiful place now overall this would be a place to spend more time in just everything's easy to access you know close by Look at those doors. Gate of persecution. In the south has remained to be the most intact entrance among the entrances. The gate of persecution has square plan towers on both sides. And the arch entrance at the center, the upper section of the arch contains a, a sac sarcophagus surface with relics of Eros. Besides the other reliefs in 1800s about persecution, prosecution scene of Hector and Achilles. Reliefs were removed to England in 18 on the show. Wrong is the Ephesus life of St. Paulus and named the gate as gate of persecution. Never. Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. What is this? Is this the... Oh, this is the Aya Su... This is the Ayasuluk Castle and St. John Monument. Oh, okay. All right, so that's what's behind the towers. Look at all of these uh, structures. And there's a scene of some kind of war with uh, horses trampling people. And uh, there again. Okay, so this isn't the Isa Bemos, this is uh, the St. Ayasuluk Castle and St. John Monument. And behind these structures is uh, Wow. Okay.
Okay, this is probably the slippery type of marble that is um, Ephesus as well. See, look at that. Just marble all the way across. Footpaths are made out of marble. So then, if that's the castle, then there is the masjid. <coughs> That's beautiful building. Kalinov's coffee shop with a sport photo, so could be right in terms of that, that nest being a stalk nest. It'd be cool to see it at stalk. Maybe it's just not for that time of the year and the stalks have migrated elsewhere. Ali Baba's house. Ooh. Maybe all the cool big spots are around um, over here. Look at crows. Definitely not as uh, beautiful sounding as the uh, as the parrots this morning Divan wrong with that some carpets and so a uh, very intricate and here's that first structure that we saw Waffles, in front of the face. Waffle Ephes. Authentic art. Byzantine aqueduct. Oh, right. An aqueduct. guys um that's probably long enough and uh we'll uh sign off for now and um then we'll check back in from ephesus